As data analysts, blank spaces can be one of our biggest enemies. In this video, I'm going to explain why that is and share five different ways to find blank spaces and remove them from your data. So blank spaces are the source of a lot of frustration in Excel. They can lead to formula errors and also cause a lot of time consuming work with data preparation. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to become a space hunter, which is someone that can find blank spaces and delete them from any data set. In this first example, we'll look at how to use find and replace. So in this example here, I have a VLOOKUP formula that's returning some errors. And this VLOOKUP should return the correct result. As you can see, it's looking for this uh, word here south in this table over here, and those both exist. So when I see errors like this, the first thing I do as a space hunter is go looking for blank spaces. And one easy way you can do that is by just double clicking or hitting F2 on the keyboard. And as you can see, the text cursor here in this cell is flashing or blinking outside of the last character there. So after the H, as you can see, there's a blank space after that and then the text cursor is blinking. So that tells me there's a blank space there. If I go over to south in this cell and hit F2, as you can see, the text cursor is blinking right after the H, so therefore there's no blank space. So we need to get rid of these blank spaces. And again, one way to do that is with the find and replace window. So I'm gonna select all these cells in the column here. We can go to the home tab, and then over here in the find and select dropdown, we have the replace option. Keyboard shortcut is control H. That'll bring up the find and replace window and select the replace tab. And here within the find what box, we just wanna put a blank space in there. So just uh, put the text cursor in there, type a blank space, and then we're going to replace that with nothing. So just make sure there's nothing in the replace uh, with box and delete anything out of there. And then we'll click replace all. And that will go ahead and find all of the blank spaces in the cells we have selected and replace them with nothing. As you can see here, 19 replacements were made. We'll go ahead and hit okay and close this. And now our VLOOKUP is returning the correct result. Now there are only certain times you'd wanna use that. And typically you'll wanna use that when your words, or in this case, the phrases in the column do not contain any other spaces. For example, in this column over here, the name column, there's a blank space between the first and the last name. So if we ran that technique on this column, it would also remove the space between the first and last names, and we probably wouldn't want that. So we're gonna need a different technique for a scenario like that. But this is a great quick technique that you can use to just find and replace blank spaces. So next we'll look at the trim function. In this example here, we have this income statement with these items that look like they're indented, but there's actually blank spaces between the items here. And this is a great question from Gary on our YouTube channel. His company has uh, reports that look like this sometimes, and he needs to clean up and remove these blank spaces so he can use this in formulas. So we can use the trim function for this. And the first thing I'm going to do is just insert a column here where we'll put our formula. You could also put it out to the right. It does not have to be right next to this, but I'm going to go ahead and equals, uh, type equals trim here. And as you can see, the trim function is going to remove all spaces from a text string except for single spaces between words. So this is great. It'll help us uh, beyond what the find and replace technique can do. And all we need to do for the trim function is provide it the text. So we're just going to select the cell that contains the text, close the parentheses there and hit enter. And that's going to trim those spaces from either the front or the end of the string. In this case here, it's from the front of the string. And then of course we can just copy this down. You can double click the fill handle or drag it down here to copy the formula all the way down. And so now that's cleaned up all of that text. Now in this case, we have an additional column with that text. And if you wanted to replace column A, the values in column A, you could do that with a simple copy paste values. So I could hit control C or right click uh, copy here, then go over to this column here and right click paste values and that will paste my values over there and remove all the blank spaces. Next, we'll take a look at Power Query. So in this example here, I'm using a merge, which is similar to a VLOOKUP, and it's returning some errors here or some null values. And again, the reason here is blank spaces. So let's look at how we can hunt down spaces in Power Query. I'm going to go back a few steps here to where I have my original data set. And in this data set here, one thing we can do to find blank spaces is just select the cells in Power Query. So I'm just selecting this cell here. 
And then down here at the bottom, there's a preview. And you can actually select the text here. So I, I, when I click in there, I'm not seeing a blank space in this cell. But if I go to another cell here and click, now I can see that there's a blank space right there. I can just kind of select it with my text cursor. I can see there's a blank space out at the end of that text string. So that lets me know there's blank spaces here. And then Power Query has a trim function that can help with removing the blank spaces. So on any column, you can just right click here, go to transform, and then hit the uh, trim button. And that's going to remove the blank spaces. In this case, we're going to say insert because we're inserting this in a previous step. So we'll say insert. And now when we go down after our merge and expand, we can see that we're now getting all the correct results. If you're not using Power Query yet, I'd highly recommend checking out our free webinar on the modern Excel blueprint, which covers how Power Query works and this data processing tool that allows us to automate data cleanup and save a ton of time with our reports. I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. Next, we'll take a look at macros in VBA. So this is the same example I used for the trim function, but we'll use a macro instead. So we're going to go to the Developer tab and then click the Visual Basic button. Keyboard shortcut is Alt F11. And that will open the VB Editor. And here I've already written a uh, simple macro that's going to loop through each cell. That's what this line does here, each cell in the selection. And then it's going to essentially replace the value of that cell with the trimmed value of the cell. That's what this line is doing here. VBA has a trim function that will allow you to trim a string and that'll remove the blank spaces at the beginning or the end of the string. It's just like the trim function in Excel. So we'll go back over to Excel and I've also assigned that macro to this button. So the first thing I'm going to do is just select a range of cells here that I want to trim or clean up and I'll click this button to run the macro. And again, that will loop through all of those cells very quickly and trim them. Now, one other thing you can do with this is add the macro to your personal macro workbook. And then what I've done is assigned that to this custom ribbon here. I've created a button called Trim Cells. And then so in any workbook I have open on the computer, I can just simply select some cells like these ones here and click the Trim Cells button. That will run the macro and trim the cells. So this is a great solution because it's very quick and it trims the uh, cells in place. It doesn't require you to add another column with another formula. The drawback to the macro is that you cannot undo that action. So once you run the trim, you're stuck with that. So you probably want to save the file first uh, before you run the macro. And I do have a video on how to create the personal macro workbook and also create this custom ribbon tab with your macro buttons. I'll put a link to that in the description below. And finally, we'll take a look at what to do when the trim functions don't work. In this example here, I'm using the trim function in column D to trim a blank space and then using the VLOOKUP. And as you can see, VLOOKUP is still returning an incorrect result. Now I know there's a blank space out here at the end of the region, which I'm trimming, and there's no blank spaces here in my region column. So something else is wrong here. And in this case, it's a different character. So there are other characters that can cause or create blank spaces in Excel that aren't the typical space character that Trim recognizes. One way to find that out is with the code function. So over here in this cell, I've just hit the space bar on the keyboard and then hit enter to essentially uh, enter a space in this cell. And then in this cell here, I'm using the code function to evaluate that cell. And that's returning character code 32. Now this is on Windows. If you're on a Mac, I believe it will be a different character code, but it'll still always be that same code for regular space character. So you can figure that out on whichever operating system you're on. If we go over to this cell here, I'm going to copy that space at the end. So I'm just gonna select it with my cursor there. I'm gonna hit Control C on the keyboard. I'm then going to paste it in this cell down below here. I'll hit Control V to paste that. And then we'll use the code function. So again, start typing code. And then we just need the text, which is in this cell here. We'll close the parentheses and hit Enter. And that's going to return character code 160. So this is not a typical blank space that Trim recognizes. I did a quick Google search here. And uh, code 160 is a non-breaking space character, which you'll typically see in HTML. So there's a few different ways to clean this up. One way is to use the find and replace technique that we looked at at the beginning of the video. And you could just paste that uh, character. You can copy the character out of here, hit Control H, and then paste it right here uh, in the find what window, and then replace the spaces. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show a different technique. Another technique, you could use the replace function in Excel, 
Or in this case here, if we knew we just wanted to trim one single character off the end of the text, we can also use the left function for that. So I'm going to start typing equals left here and tab into that. Left's going to return the left number of characters from a text string. So we'll select this text string here. And then for the number of characters, if we wanted the four characters to the left here, we could just type a four for the second argument, but that's not going to work in every scenario. So another thing we can do is use the length function or LEN for length and then select the text as well. So that's going to return the number of characters in that text string, close the parentheses on, parentheses on that, and then subtract one from it. So minus one. So the length minus one in this case would give us four because there's five characters there, including the blank space. Minus one will give us four. We'll close the parentheses on that and hit enter. That's going to replace, or it's going to run the formula in the entire column there because I'm using an Excel table. And as you can see, our VLOOKUP is now returning the correct results. So there's five techniques for becoming a better space hunter in Excel. Now this is not an exhaustive list. So if you have additional tips and techniques, feel free to leave a comment right below this video. I'll also put links in the description below to other resources on some of the topics we discussed like Power Query and VBA. Now, if you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and then head over to excelcampus.com slash free to grab our free Excel Pro Tips ebook. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.